Hey guys, so I haven't done a haul in a while, or maybe I have. In the last two months or so, I have been collecting a few things, so I thought I'd share them with you. Let's just get straight into it. The first thing I want to share is this. It's by Soap and Glory, and it is, I think it's actually like a cellulite sort of glove. Viviana from Viviana Does Makeup mentioned in her video that she uses this as a brush cleaner so you literally swell your brush with soap or whatever and water obviously on there it does actually help clean your brushes pretty well I've only used it once or twice I actually find it a bit quicker doing it by hand even though my hands do get soggy which is why I bought this in the first place but I tend to use olive oil to remove the makeup and then wash it with shampoo but this is really helpful as well I haven't actually tried it for a cellulite sort of glove but yeah, it's a great idea and I always wanted to get one of these to wash my makeup brushes with or help clean them. So I definitely recommend this. It's a great giant glove. Look at that. <laughs> it's quite cool, but it's definitely worth trying out. And as it was buy one, get one half price at that time, I bought this little silicone facial brush thing by Soap and Glory. And I know um, you can get these sort of things, but they're quite expensive. This was only like four pounds. So worth buying. Definitely worth trying out. And it's great to use with a gel sort of cleanser. And I think this is a great alternative to the Foreo Mini Luna, which is like a hundred pounds, which is also a silicone based facial brush for obviously cleansing your face but this obviously doesn't it's not electronic it's literally just a little brush thing really great thing and it's got two sort of sets of bristles well it's got these sort of short bristles and then this sort of rubberized bumps so you can obviously target different areas of different faces for different things um, great little brush um, definitely recommend this also I've only used it once or twice but I still think it's worth getting Another great thing I have discovered, and they have been around for a long time, probably this particular product has saved my skin in the last month or so. It's this, I've got like three of them because I ended up buying loads more and getting backups of these. It's the Boots Skin Clear One Touch Spot Stick. You only get six men in them. It probably lasts me about a week or two, but I don't know what the ingredients in this are but they have been doing amazing things for my skin and mainly I haven't had any hormonal breakouts for a while so if I've had any other breakouts this has been keeping my skin at bay so we'll see if it can get me through my hormonal breakout period but oh my god this is better than even the super drug spot stick tea tree sort of one that I've tried and I don't think this has got tea tree in it actually. I definitely recommend getting this. Um, this is actually about two or three pounds. When it's on offer, it's about one pound or just over one pound fifty or just about roughly that much. So not expensive at all. And as a really cheap spot treatment, definitely go and grab one of these. Essie recently had an offer on where if you buy two of their, any of their products actually, you get a free gift. So. I thought I would try out one of their nail polishes and I wanted to get like a whitish sort of colour. So this is sort of an off-white. I tried it once but I, hadn't, I didn't have the patience to um, keep it on and it was a bit messy so I sort of took it off but I'm going to have to try it again. This one is in the colour Allure. So it's like an off-white. I didn't want to get blank which is completely white but this is a really nice creamy, milky, um, creamy sort of colour. Um, so I can't wait to try this out and I think this is perfect for you know, a nice summery look. And the other thing I got I'm really excited about and I've been wanting to get this for a long time since I saw that Boots actually did this, it's the Essie Leave No Trace Glitter Nail Polish Remover. I am a glitter nail polish fan and um, yeah, I have trouble taking my nail varnish off when it's glittery. I tend to just like sort of peel it off or pick it off. It's not ideal for the surface of the nails so I thought I would try this. I haven't actually tried it yet but I thought I need it just in case, especially because it's nice to wear sparkly nail polish so definitely worth having as part of my nail polish kit. And the free gift that you got was this, and you get three different sort of summery shades. This green shade is in the colour Ruffles and Feathers, 
This pink one's in hot or hot in the heat. This orange one is called Rorange or Rorange, like raw, like a tiger. So that was that one. From number seven, I was browsing one of their counters and I came across this colour. Um, I've seen these Stay Perfect Amazing Eye Pencils. They're sort of like a waterproof formulation. Um, they're meant to last long. So I thought I'd try this one. And this one's a nice sort of really rose goldy sort of colour. And it's perfect for like the inner corners of your eyes. And this, wow, I stumbled upon this one. I've never actually come across any of the number seven sort of creamy blushes. So I came across this one, which is the Maple Silk Blush. And it's in the Natural Blush Cream range. I absolutely love this one. It's like the perfect sort of natural colour. And I love it sort of as a contour sort of like as a creamy contour and it goes great under my favorite 17 blusher and also it goes great with the natural collection blusher in rose this is a really great natural blusher especially for summertime because it gives you that sort of natural glow and it lasts fairly long um, I think it's better to set it with a powder blusher but by itself it's really nice and dewy. I've mentioned this in a previous haul, it's the lovely Lanolin Herbal Oil Body Oil um, and it's by Lanolips. I bought one of these and I thought it would be a great dupe for the bio oil and I thought I'd pick up another two because they were on clearance and I don't think you can get them in boots anymore so it was a bit random that I stumbled across them in one of the boots that I visited so I thought I'd just get a few more backups for when I do finish my other one I've got a few more extra ones. A few more boots products, I know I always buy a lot of my things from boots but boots is great it's got a lot of things. Um, this one I mentioned in one of my favourites it's the Good Things 5 minute facial face mask it's the super fruit extract avocado and goji berry one really great super strong smelling so if you don't like strong smells not ideal it's so super smooth and creamy on your face as well and it's meant to sort of brighten your face and give it a nice um, facial so definitely worth trying this one I recently just picked up another one of these I haven't had this for a while and I absolutely love this one and I know Sharon Farrell from Sharon Farrell Makeup and um, Siobhan from Let's Makeup also loves this. It's the Garnier Simply Essential. It's the Garnier Simply Essentials Soothing Two in One Makeup Remover. Such a mouthful, but the combination of the oil and the water, you just can't get this in any other products that I've ever tried. And you can use it for face and eyes which is another bonus and I think the oiliness isn't too oily which I have found with the Boots Simply range um, eye makeup remover so this is a perfect one and I mainly use it for my eyes because it's great for removing waterproof makeup so it's definitely worth trying if you've never tried it before give it a try and it's on offer at the moment for £1.72 which is the cheapest I've ever bought it from Boots so great great price another thing I picked up from Boots is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation. I bought two of this shade and I thought it will be a really nice combination while I mix all my foundations as I always do. So I thought I'd mix this one and this is in the shade Honey 30 which I found slightly too dark even though my foundations are already dark enough I like to have a lighter foundation. But it's been working fairly well so far so I thought I would pick up the next shade down which is in the shade sand so I think this will be better to mix with my foundations but still gonna finish using this one this is gonna last me for such a long time because it's it's so well you get 35 mil which is 5 mil more than the average foundation that you usually get but yeah they're not too bad obviously not for my shade range at all they need to come out with more um, darker shades in some of these new foundations but great combination for mixing with my foundations. As I love the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, I thought I would pick up the waterproof version and another one of these just as a backup because I've got one at the moment which I won in a competition. But I absolutely love the brush of this, the formulation of this, even the non-waterproof version, it lasts, it doesn't flake, 
maybe if you've got it on for a very very long time like a whole day then it might start flaking but other than that it doesn't it's naturally lifting for the lashes you don't need to use a lash curler if you're using this mascara because of the shape of the brush which I'll show you now it's like it sort of lifts your lashes either way whichever way you use it it's amazing such a great mascara and the reason why people are raving about it is because it is actually just amazing and I would actually compare this one to the Benefit their real mascara because I think it's just as good so definitely worth trying out and boots or super dogs wherever they've always got offers on Maybelline so you can always get them in multiples <laughs> I thought I'd pick up another one of these it's my everyday sort of night moisturizer it's the witch naturally clear with witch hazel extract overnight clearing serum and I do only use this at night time and I've been using it with something amazing recently in the past week or so which I'll be mentioning in my next favorite so watch out for that one but this is such a great serum especially if you do have acne or spot prone skin and again it's not too expensive and it's reasonably priced so definitely worth trying out from Wilkinson's I hadn't actually been in for such a long time so I thought I'd just browse the sort of makeup or accessories section and I stumbled across this brush it's two pounds two pounds super amazing I think I mentioned it in one of my favorites my last favorites this is a blusher brush but I have been using this one for powder to set my face because it's so super fluffy and then I thought I'd get another one I thought I'd get a pink one and I've been using this for my blusher because what it's meant for but really really super soft really super amazing and I love the two different colors and I can obviously associate one to powder and one to blusher and knowing how to differentiate which one is for which really great two pounds you cannot go wrong definitely worth trying from Wilkinson I mentioned this in my last favorites but it's something I've picked up recently it's this beauty it's grubby because that's what the packaging is like it's the Urban Decay all nighter makeup setting spray this has been doing wonders for my skin and my makeup for the last couple of weeks I've sort of nearly finished it and I need to savor this till a few days time because it's my friend's wedding and friends both of them are getting married and I want to make sure my makeup lasts all day so I have to um, make sure that this will last me but I'm going to definitely buy the full size version I don't know why I didn't get it in the first place but I thought I'd try out the small version I have tried out the chill makeup setting spray which I didn't find was that great for me but this one keeps my oils up bit makes my makeup look amazing and last so long especially if I'm running around doing things and it's summertime so that's expected so people rave about this for a reason and it's definitely worth getting so go and get you some if you like your makeup lasting all day long and last but not least I got a mini one of the collab dry shampoos from Ruth Crilly's range I thought I tried sort of smelling all of them I didn't actually spray them but I sort of opened the caps and smelt them and this is probably the only one that sort of appealed to me this is the Rio Tropical Fragrance one, love it, um, it gives you a lot of texture so if you're looking for like a texturizing spray this is great, if you're definitely looking for an oil absorbing one this is great, um, more so as a texturizing spray, I've only tried it a couple of times but really really nice little smelling dry shampoo and it's a mini one so perfect for traveling as well or keeping in your handbag. Super drugs have a lot of sort of facial accessory products which I didn't realize so I was just browsing in one of the larger stores and I ended up picking up these facial loofah pads I've already tried one which I don't know actually where it's actually gone but um, it was actually quite harsh on the skin so if you've got no blemishes at all and you want like a natural way of exfoliating your face definitely worth trying one of these they sort of come flat like this and then you soak it obviously you run it under water and it sort of expands and then you can just use your natural um, or any kind of gel sort of cleanser to exfoliate your face with and this one I also picked up it's the dehydrated facial cognac sponge I think it's cognac not cognac um, it's again a delicately exfoliating pure vegetable fiber type sponge thing um, not tried it want to try it out instead of using my Luna Mini or the 
Soap and Glory silicone sort of facial brush. Thought I'd try something different, so at one point I will give this a try and we'll let you know how it is. But they do amazing products and these are only like a couple of quid each, so really not expensive and great things to try out. And last but not least, I picked up an MUA Makeup Academy highlighter. <laughs> I have got it on, I'm very obsessed with this. I've been wearing it pretty much every day for the last few weeks. This is in the shade Opalescent Amber. There was a few different ones, but I thought this one would suit my face the most, and I love it completely. It's super, super shimmery and highlighty, but this whole strobing trend, which is out at the moment, don't know if I would go full on, like, all over the face. Yeah, definitely worth trying out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my long, rambly haul of random items and makeup and skincare and whatnot, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.